You are welcome back to my channel, Mathematics with Edu Ada. Thank you for joining me as you've always done. Please, don't forget to always subscribe. You want to share my YouTube channel link or my name? Just search on YouTube, Mathematics with Edu Ada. Please subscribe, like, and make your comments. Make your comments. Do this. Do this. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. We are still on the application of differential calculus. Yeah, I just want to pick two questions that relate to the application because I've treated a um, some aspect of the application. Yes, I've treated a lot of ap aspect of it. I just pick out two questions to buttress on this part of application of differential calculus. Now, if you have a question that is being tailored in this form, like the sum of two numbers is 30, find your greatest possible product. The sum. The sum of two numbers is 30. Now find their possible their greatest possible products. Now, there's no how we can solve this. Say, okay, let's solve it by simul you know, solving it simultaneously. It becomes difficult because here we only have one value relating the two variables to. The two variables are related to only one value, which is this. And we are looking for something else about the two variables that's not given. So it will be very, it will be damn difficult to actually solve using um, or solving by what we call simultaneous equation. So the best approach is to apply differential calculus. It will help us out. Let's see how it goes. First, number one. The sum of two numbers is 30, right? Let the two numbers. Let the two numbers be x and y. You get? So what do we do? It said the sum of the two numbers that will be x plus y can be equals to 30. Now, we're not saying find their greatest possible product. Not even their products now. Their max product. So the find max product is a bit not something we can just solve by a linear equation or stuff. No. So what is what we do? <laughs> Let's x. Since x plus y is equal to this, you can see x can be equal to what? 30 minus y. Isn't it? Isn't it? So they are products. Let me just write products. So products, which is x, y, that can be equal to what? Since x is already this, that will be 30 minus y. Close the brackets. That is for x, then y, then it's y. Do you get that? So that will be 30 y minus y squared. Now, after guessing this, you now proceed. This is their product. The question says, find their greatest possible product. That's what the question says. So what do we do now? We look for the product, the P, the Y. Where P stands for products. So we are derivating this the product. Find differential of the product with respect to this variable that we have. Let me write this to the just the one I have. So I have this now. The P the Y that will be 30 minus 2y. If we differentiate this, you give it 30, differentiate this, you have 2y. So that means you can equate your dp. The y can be equal to 0. That means 30y minus 2y can be equal to 0. Then 30y can be equal to 2y. Dividing both sides by 2, what do you have? You have this. Okay, divided both sides by 2y. 
uh, sorry, this is 30, not 31, this is 30. So variables are by 2, this is 15. So y can be equal to 15. You get that? So since y is equal to 16, of course, you can bring that back into this place. So products. Greatest product. Greatest product will now be what? So having 30y minus y squared, that implies what? 30 open bracket 15 minus 15 squared. And that can be equal to what? 30 times 15. Let's go together. This is um, 450 minus um, 15 squared. Point your calculator. You have um, 15, okay, times 15, that gives 225. So you have 225. And that can be equal to this, you borrow here, this 5. Isn't it? This one you have 4 here, this one will be 2. That will be 225. So these are greatest products using the values that you are given. You get that? So you can now decide to say, okay, since you already have this, you need to bring this into this. You don't need it. So this is your greatest product. You can decide to, you see, you have written X in terms of Y, you are good to go. You get? If you like, you can come here. Since you have Y to be whatever you have Y to be, bring it and get X, then you now find the product we get. You get? So let's solve for question two. Similar approach. <coughs> So question two says, let's go for solution two. A rectangle has a perimeter of 60 meters. This is length, this is breadth, right? This is a rectangle, and by the virtue of properties of a rectangle, we have this side to be equal to this side, this side to be equal to this side, such that this is the length, this is the breadth. So the perimeter will be what? Length plus length plus breadth plus breadth. And that implies that what? 2L plus 2B. And that implies that what? 2 open bracket length plus breadth. So this will become the perimeter. And you have been told the rectangle has a perimeter of 16 meters. That implies that 60 can be equal to 2 open bracket length plus breadth. Divide both sides by 2, that means 30 will be equal to L plus B. Just like what I did now, that will be result into. So here I can go, I can now say my L will be equal to 30 minus B. So the product now, so I'll be getting the same answer for what I did initially here. Because this, what, this, what I was doing here resulted into here. So here I'm going to be having... Um, Products, this is L now. Products will be L times B. And that will be, our L is now this. 30 minus B times B. And that will be 30B minus B squared. Do you see that? Now, finding the derivative. So you have the B, the, 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 the P, the B, which respect to B. Do you get that? So here we are going to be having it to be 30 minus 2b. So let's the p the b be equal to zero. So if that is equal to zero, what do you have again? You are going to be having 30 minus 2b to be equal to zero. Are you following me? So here now you have your 30 to be equal to 2b dividing both sides by 2. So, breadth becomes 15. Do you get that? So, just like what we did initially, giving B to be 15 now, you can now say their greatest or their max product. Max product can be equal to, where do you have it? This is going to be 30. So, you have the values given here. You solve it. You have um, 
30 times 15 minus 15 times 15 and that will be equal to 2 to 5 um meter squared okay since it's not area it's just products so i have this as 2 to 5 so do you get that so this is what we're going to be having and this please don't forget to subscribe kindly subscribe i pray with you like make your comment any observation please make you know i want to hear from everybody that watch my video i want to learn from you i want to hear from you i want to know how much my video has changed your learning styles and your exposure to mathematics and the other subject like physics that i take thank you if you need to make any requests if you know need my service private class or whatever anything no clarification on any subject, any talk, uh, uh, any aspect of mathematics. You can reach me two three four eight one six four eight six nine four seven zero. Thank you for your time.